Hello, I am Neeraj. Today I will try to go through one of the dynamic graph paper. So I will try to capture the paper written by authors from Twitter, uh, titled as uh, "Temporal Graph Networks for Deep Learning on Dynamic Graph." I will try to go through this paper as much as possible for me. But uh, before going into the details, first we will try to understand that what are the type of operations we do with a full featured graph and how we can achieve the same kind of thing in a dynamic setting. So if we try to understand the type of operations we do with full featured graph, full featured graph means we have nodes, edges properly defined. If the connections are there, then it is properly defined. Node features are there, edge features are there. So in that case, what are the general set of operations we do? It is already known that uh, with graph, we do node classification, edge classification, node prediction, edge predictions, and so many graph applications. But how we achieve those things? For this, in a deep learning architecture, we use a two-way process. So the first part is encoder operations. So in the encoder operations, we use the node embedding. We calculate the node embeddings by taking the nearest neighbor node, by taking the subgraph, kind of things. And once we get the node embeddings, we apply a decoder functions or decoder operations. The decoder operations generally use multi-layer perceptrons or some deep learning networks. And with the help of informations captured in the node embedding and with the help of these deep learning architectures, we apply all those uh, graph applications that I discussed like node classifications, uh, link predictions and so many things. Now the question is how we can do this? So we will go in little more depth. Suppose we have a simple node, simple toy graph with six nodes and we want to compute the node embedding for node A. And in the simplest form, we are considering the one hope connected nearest neighbor. So for the node A, the connected nearest neighbors will be B, C and D. We will take the self loop for each of the connected nodes so that we can consider their self information also. Now, we take the information from the nearest neighbor nodes and compute the embedding for node A. So, the information that is coming from the connected nearest neighbor is coming through the way of defined as message because we have a full featured node, uh, sorry, we have full featured graph with node feature, eight features and complete structural information. So the message functions contains the information about uh, vertices like source and target vertices and edges. And then this message function, we generally say it like a learnable kind of functions. So once we pass this message to the nearest neighbor, we apply a learnable functions through putting a single neural network architecture which contains, uh, like here it will contains aggregations in the form of input and then some non-linearity kind of thing. So with this set of operations, we learn this message function. So that uh, there may be some other ways to learn this message functions also. I am just uh, giving one of the possible way to learn this message function. Now the next part is once we get the message functions, 
लाइक एम ए बी एम सॉरी ए बी एम ए सी एम ए डी वी अगेन पास इट थ्रू सम लर्नेबल फंक्शन एच एंड वी यूज द एग्रीगेशन ऑफ ऑल मैसेजेस विथ द सेल्फ लूप ऑन द गिवेन नोड सो दिस एग्रीगेशन इज डिफाइंड हेयर लाइक वी आर कंसिडरिंग ऑल द नियरेस्ट नेबर फॉर ए गिवेन नोड ए हेयर वी रिप्रेजेंट आई एस ए सो इन दैट केस वंस वी कंबाइन ऑल द मैसेजेस एंड टेक द सेल्फ लू वी अप्लाई द लर्नेबल फंक्शन एच दैट लर्नेबल फंक्शन अगेन कैन बी ए न्यूरल नेटवर्क नोड वेयर द इंफॉर्मेशन इज कमिंग वी टेक द एग्रीगेशन एंड देन अप्लाई सम नॉन लिनियरिटी एंड देन गेट द लर्नेबल वेट सो दिस इज द वे वन वे टू अचीव द लर्नेबिलिटी फॉर दिस फंक्शन देर मे बी मल्टीपल अदर वेज सो दिस टू ऑपरेशन कंबाइंडली गिव्स द इम्बेडिंग फॉर node a similarly we can get the embeddings for node b c d e f every node and once we get the embeddings our encoder part will complete its operation so second operation decoder operation will start and by using the multi layer perceptrons or some other deep learning architecture we can get the graph uh, based applications one more thing that you here you should consider that in this uh, description like nearest neighbor that is defined as ni authors clear that only the nearest neighbor we can consider if there exist a's between them for example if there is a node x but it is not connected to a then we will not consider it as a nearest neighbor in the entire computation so this is the case with the static graph means fully static loaded with full set of features and everything but now how we can apply the same thing with the dynamic graph because in the dynamic graph what happens suppose uh, you consider this picture provided by authors from the paper that represents a net twitter kind of users network you can see that a lot of users following other users they are uh, sending messages to each of the users users have some uh, information they are sending a particular kind of sharing particular kind of information with other users but the things are any user can join the social network any time any user can leave the social network any time any user can stop participating and then after some time it again actively started participating users can change their information users can change the type of the connections or connection related informations so a lot of things are changing here so in that case how we can map all the computations that we did here for that the authors of this paper had suggested some things like they considered that uh, dynamic graph can be of two types first is like a discrete time dynamic graph second is continuous time dynamic graph because they are not uh, taking the sequence of graph snapshots on a particular interval of time and uh, they think that it may not be feasible for a social network where everything is changing dynamically so they consider that we should consider a continuous time of and continuous time dynamic graph so in the continuous time dynamic graph they consider that everything is changing with respect to time for example at time t1 graph may have some set of nodes some set of features 
at time t2 may have a different set of nodes different set of features different set of age events different set of node events and so on so with the change of time everything can change another thing that uh, they changed is the way they uh, uh, means uh, retain the node features and age features because it is time dependent and not static so they use the concept of node event and second is interaction event or we can say it like age event also so this is one of the change they suggested now what happens at any particular time some may leave the network or some new person may join the network then node event will be different if they interact with another user then age event will be different maybe some set of node from the entire graph may present at a particular time and some sort set of interactions may present at the at a particular time and some others may not present so they define the vertex and edges time dependent vertex and edges it as like some set of vertices that are present in the graph at any given time similarly some set of edges which are present in the graph at any given time t and similarly they define neighborhood also like some set of uh, neighbor node which are connected through edge at a given time t means again they are not considering such kind of nodes which are not connected through edge now the next and more generalized information is k hope neighborhood so n i k t means at a particular time t at a given per node i the k hope neighborhood is like how many layers of neighbors you are going to consider in computing the node embedding now to achieve all those things now to maintain like this necessary informations to compute all the node embeddings like uh, if you think that in such kind of changing environment if you want to compute the node embeddings it should represent the latest in or latest or most useful information may it may not be the complete graph but it may be the part of the graph which are active at that time so to achieve this authors have given four different kind five different uh, i can I means operational things first is memory so they define that memory is used to memorize the time dependent activities at node and at interaction levels means in interaction between nodes another thing that is very important that here authors have considered that a connection between node to node is not a single connection means it may be possible that there will be multiple connections between or multiple edges between two nodes so they consider the graph as a multi graph so this is one more addition now the memory function generally represents all the information like what are the node present at a given time what are the edges present in the given given time what are the node event what are the edge event all those things are present in any given time second is message function so according to the authors message function actually generates all the messages due to some interaction events or due to some node events so its time its uh, main purpose is to generate or identify all such kind of interactions and uh, third is message aggregator so message aggregator actually a mechanism to aggregate the useful or updated messages means uh, what happens that suppose a particular person 
it's silent for uh, a sufficiently large time and suddenly he uh, actively started participating if we consider its old outdated information in the or connected informations from that person then it may misguide the graph operation that's why message aggregator is used here so that they can maintain the up to date and latest and useful informations about the network about the interactions that can be used in the computation of embeddings third fourth is memory updater so according to that the memory updater is actually a mechanism to update the memory like uh, based on the updated messages it updates the memory so here you can uh, understand through a simple picture i have taken this picture from the paper so in this picture here you can assume you can see that the authors have taken the batch operation that batch operation may be from time t1 to time tk means they take the some interval time interval which the which uh, means you can think that that time uh, all the operations during that time intervals may be sufficiently good to capture the useful informations and may give the a uh, very optimal results for the graph operations so for example in this toy operation toy graph uh, sorry in this toy batch they have taken two time intervals t1 and t2 so in time t1 node 1 interacts with node 2 and time t2 node 2 interacts with node 3 so the message function generates four messages like messages for uh, m1 and m2 means node 1 and node 2 at time t1 similarly messages for node 2 and node 3 at time t2 m2 t2 and m3 t3 again the message aggregator identifies that m2 t1 like uh, messages generated at node 2 at the time t1 which are older time is not useful so they remove and updated it through the latest time like m2 t2 and rest of the things are updated now with this aggregated message the memory updater updated the memory old memory with the new updated informations here now again with the memory updater the authors claim that they have used a simple memory updation scheme instead of some uh, learnable memory updater or something that can be possible so here it uh, author says that uh, they are using most recent messages or keep only the most recent messages for a given node and the mean messages means average of all messages for a given node to update the memory for a given message now what happens once the memory updater contains the updated information at a particular time interval it passes this information to node embedding process here you can see the node embedding process that i discussed here in this so they use the node embedding process to compute the node and then after that a decoder function is applied to compute the graph based applications so this is the uh, basics or flow of this paper like how they achieve now i will go through a little more depth for each of these operations as per given in the paper